everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, my cousins celebrate the special age for children. Maruko! Maruko! Hey! Today's the day for Shichigo san. Get up quickly. <laughs> what an uncaring man you are! There was no warning! It's so cold, I'm going to freeze. Shichigo san? Shichigo san? Huh? It's for me? Don't be ridiculous. You're nine already, aren't you? How selfish of you. How can you expect to be celebrated so many times? <laughs> Maruko more or less regrets even saying that. Your cousins Akembe and Hiroaki are coming. You see, they are seven and five years old now, so it's for them. <laughs> Hiroaki is coming too? Akemi-chan is a nice girl, but her brother Hiroaki is so awful. He's always so arrogant and annoying. Why did he take the trouble to come all the way here? They're coming all the way to our house so they can show their new celebration outfits to your grandpa and grandma. Isn't that sweet of them to do that? Yeah, but Hiroaki isn't sweet at all. That boy is far from sweet. Let me cut in now. When she was little, Maruko mistook Shichigo-san, the celebration of a special age for children, as someone's last name, Shichigo-san. Hello, my name is Shichigo-san. Nice to meet you. Also, she thought Fuji-san, the way Japanese people refer to Mount Fuji, was a last name. Fuji-san looks very clean today, don't you think? When she hears a conversation like that, she thinks. Huh? Does she mean that Fuji-san sometimes looks dirty? That is such a weird thing to say. Maruko has her ditzy moments. I... <sighs> Hello? Hello? Huh? Oh, how cute. It's uh, nice of you to have come such a long way. Please, come in. Uh, he's here already. This ruins my beautiful, relaxing Sunday. Oh. Hey, Maruko. Oh, no. Bang! Beep. Oh! No, stop it, Hiro-chan. I got you real good, so you have to pretend to be dead now. Ha, 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 ha. How dare you? It was so rude of you to do that to me and to come to my house without even greeting me. <laughs> Maruko got angry. Uh, come back! You got mad! You got mad! Hold it! Come back! <laughs> hey, Auntie, Naughty Maruko is being mean to me. Goodness, Maruko, you should be nice to your cousin. Oh, great. <laughs> Not only that, you're still in your pajamas. How embarrassing. Change clothes quickly and come and greet your aunt and uncle. What a lazy girl. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, you got scolded. Lazy, lazy, lazy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the M in Maruko stands for monkey. Stop it, Hiroaki. No, it doesn't. My given name is Momoko, okay? Uncle, aunt, good morning. Oh, Momoko-chan, it's been a long time. You're all grown up. Good morning. Oh, big sis. Huh? Hi, big sis. Oh, hi, hi, big sis. <laughs> Maruko is completely being left out. Come on, big sis, play with us. Yay, big sis, play with us. Hey, hold it. Huh? You guys keep calling her big sis, but she's my big sis, not yours.
Besides, I'm older than you two by a few years, so you should show me the proper respect by calling me Big Sis Momoko! Don't just call me Maruko so casually. I wonder if they realize the greatness of my plan. <laughs> I should be respected as an elder. Omaru! <laughs> hey, how dare you just add an O in front of my name as if you're pretending to be respectful to me now! You know perfectly well Omaru means chamber pot! How dare you! You told me to show you some respect as my elder, so I added the polite word O to your name. You should be happy! Anyway, big sister, let's go and play now. Mm, I wish I could, but I have other plans already. I'm sorry. What? But that's no fun. See you guys. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, well. I have no choice. I'll let Maruka play with me. <laughs> no thanks, I don't want to. You're just patronizing me. Get outside quickly. Hey, take a look at this. Huh? I came here to show this off. But, but that's a... You have no chance of winning it unless you buy Nice's egg noodles. And even then, it's still hard to win one. That's an egg ball. Such a rare object. Amazing. Ha. Uh, I'm begging you. Let me try it just one time. No way, cuz. I can't grant you that privilege. Why don't you let Maru-chan try it for a little bit? Hmm. Please? Mm. Okay, I guess I can. Just one time, all right? Yay! Yay! <laughs> this is so cool! This is so cool! <laughs> Maru-chan looks extremely happy now. Let's stay away from her just in case. <laughs> You see, that's why I didn't want to let an amateur use it. Maru-chan, are you all right? It really hurts. Look, watch how I do it. I know I look super cool when I do it, but don't get a crush. <laughs> Hiro-chan is an expert with the egg ball because he plays with it every day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Maybe he's the kind of person who's only good at stuff like this. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that girl looks so pretty. I wish I could have worn a kimono today, too. Hey, what's wrong, sis? You look sad now. Did Maruko give you a hard time? No, it's not that at all. Man, you make me sound like a bad person. Tell me if you're being bullied. I'll take care of anyone who dares to make you sad. <laughs> He's quite sweet and protective of his sister. Hey, shall we go to the penny store? Yeah! Maruko, you come up with good ideas once in a while. This! Eh? So you want to draw a lot? Why don't you buy something a little more appropriate for a kid? Hey, when I draw lots, I always get a hit. I'll get a machine gun. Huh? I want to get that cool pendant. I should draw a lot, too. <sighs> <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> no kidding. Both of them hit the jackpot. I imagined winning, but once again, I got nothing. <laughs> it's okay. Who needs to win? Hey, Maruko, don't feel so bad about not getting anything at the penny store. You're embarrassing yourself. How am I being embarrassing right now? Huh? Wow, very, very cute. Huh? Yes, really pretty. It's true. Compared to that girl, and compared to the other girl, this girl here is the prettiest of them all. <gasps> Thanks, sis, Maruko. Hey, why did you call me that all of a sudden? Come on, let's all go home together. Yeah, 
What do you think, Hiroaki? This hand is free if you want it. Come on. Don't be silly. I can't be seen holding a girl's hand. Uh, but I guess, since you insist on it so much, I can hold a pinky or maybe two fingers for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for a lovely day. Please take care of yourselves. See you later. Please come and visit us again. Huh? Maruko, I'll leave this for you, okay? Thank you. What is it? Is it a long candy? So long! See you guys! My goodness. He gave me a long candy. I guess he can be cute sometimes. <laughs> uh -huh. To Sister Maru. Oh boy, why did he write Sis Maru? He should really write Big Sis Maruko. When I think about it, I won't see them for a long time. I'll miss them a little bit. Okay, maybe quite a lot. Huh? You can have only one piece. The other three pieces you have to give to Big Sis. You got that? Hiroaki. <sighs> you know what? I take it back. He isn't cute at all. In this episode, Maruko caught a cold. Maruko! Maruko, get up! It's cold. I'm sleepy. I don't want to get up. I want to take a day off from school. I told you to get up now. Mom, I can't. I have a headache. Almost every day you claim to have a headache. Uh, it hurts. She says she has a headache every morning just in case. If she happens to have one, it's a lucky day. Let me see. Oh, goodness. You do seem to be a bit feverish. Hold on a minute. I'll bring a thermometer. Eh, is that right? Am I actually a little bit feverish? Oh, my. It's 37.2. You do have a fever. You need to take a day off school. No kidding! <laughs> you know, Mommy, I don't have an appetite, but maybe I could eat a hamburger steak. Oh, my poor sick girl. I'll cook it for you. Awesome, awesome. I can take a day off from school. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm glad that I said I have a headache when she woke me up. If I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have done any homework yesterday. Oh, well, I'm happy I can lie around all day. I can just be lazy and have Mom serve me. Huh? Ah, uh, the sunshine is very bright today. Lord in heaven, thank you for giving me this lucky fever of 37.2 so I can miss school. Well then, shall I take a nice little nap till my delicious hamburger steak is cooked? <laughs> too happy to sleep. I'm just so excited. Maruko, your hamburger steak is ready. All right. Awesome. Two big steaks just for me? I get to have such a luxurious treat. Mom, will you just feed it to me? I'll open my mouth for you. Oh, look, you're acting like a baby again. Uh... <laughs> it's like I'm in heaven. Hey, Mom, is it cold outside today? Let me see. The wind is strong, so I guess it's cold. Ah, I see. It makes it even better to take a day off school when it's cold or when she has classes she hates. It's 9.30. Those poor ordinary people are all in school studying now. Ah, I feel so happy. I wish it could be like this every day. Mari-chan is absent today. I feel sorry for her. I heard she has a nasty cold. Shall we pay a visit to Maruchan after school then? I'll come with you guys. I wonder what Maruchan is doing right now. I suppose she's suffering from that fever. Poor Maruchan. Mm. At that moment, Baruko is actually. <laughs> Maruko, it's time to take your medicine now. Uh, don't tell me this medicine will actually get rid of my fever, Mom. Wait, is there a problem if it does? Uh, of course not. Oh no, if 
this works, this heavenly treatment will be over. I just want you to get well very soon. I just want to stay home and relax for a few more days. You have that marathon race coming up soon, you know. <sighs> that was careless of me. I should have aimed to have a cold on the day of the marathon race instead of a plain old ordinary school day. What a waste. Uh, but maybe I can catch a cold again. I should get close to someone who has a cold on the day before the marathon race to get infected. No, wait a minute. I might have gained immunity to this cold so I won't get infected again. Uh, at a time like this, I wish there was a cold bank. When I don't need a cold, I'll keep it in the bank and I can infect myself when I need it. So, I have a marathon race today. Give me a bad one that only lasts a day. Oh, sure. This one here will do for your needs. Oh, Maruko. Huh? You have a fever, don't you? Yeah. I'll give you a good remedy which will fix you right up. Eh? Grandma, you can do that? Look, you see this here? This is a big pickled plum. A pickled plum? I'll mush these up and stick them on your forehead. Eh? No, I don't want those on my head. I told her I didn't want these on my head. <sighs> it's already 12. Time passes quickly. I guess everyone's having their school lunch now. I envy them. And I wonder what's being served today. Eh, I'll take a look at the menu just to check. She's proactive when it comes to things like this. Huh? Meat sauce? You are kidding me. For dessert, there's pudding, too. I envy them. I should have forced myself to go to school today. Around the same time at school. Hey, look, guys, we have an extra pudding. Rock, okay. hey, rock, rock paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> oh, man, Nabi-chan got the pudding. I wanted it. Delicious. <laughs> pudding? I wish I could bring one to Maru-chan. It's her favorite. Maruko, take your temperature. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I hope it hasn't gone down yet. Ah! 36.7 degrees! It's a normal temperature! You can't seriously mean that pickled plum remedy actually worked. Well, I can just lie to Mom and say I still have a 37 degree fever. Maruko, what was it? It's a 37 degree fever. Oh, but it doesn't feel that hot now. You may not be able to tell just by touching me. You don't have sensitive hands, Mom. But I certainly do have a fever. So you mean the pickled plum didn't work? Uh, it, don't be upset. I mean, I didn't get worse. In fact, it lessened by 0.2 degrees. Uh, I must do something. I must do something to raise my temperature. I should just get out of the futani. <laughs> I'll take my clothes off. He's <laughs> so cold. If I do this, I bet my cold will come back. Achoo! Achoo! I sneezed twice already. Good, I think my cold is coming back. <laughs> oh man, so it's two o'clock already. It's time for ordinary people to finish school. Boy, that's no fun. The special time when I'm the only one having fun is over. Huh? Today is the day that the yo-yo champion comes to Shimadaya shop. I totally forgotten about it. Around that time, yo-yos were extremely popular among children all over the world. At the height of this trend, a big event where Japan invited the yo-yo champion of America to come was promoted. It was big news. The yo-yo champion's coming on a big tour. Serious? Anyway, it's a mystery why the American champion chose to come to the supermarket Shimadaya in her small neighborhood. I guess Americans are quite humble, down-to-earth people. Right! I should go to Shimadaya right now! I want to see the Yo-Yo Champion perform his tricks! <laughs> I should be careful not to be spotted by Mom when I sneak out of here, so I have to be very careful when I come back, too. I shouldn't be spotted by my classmates either in case they tell. So the only way to do it is to go out in disguise. I'll wear a Michiko-style muffler and put on sunglasses. Now no one will know it's me. This is gonna be awesome! Huh? Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Wait, I forgot my yo-yo. <laughs> huh? 
doesn't notice no matter how many times I pass. I'm just super lucky today. I don't know. Well, hello there, everyone. I'm gonna show you some cool yo-yo tricks. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's a spinning wheel. I can even use two. Oh, amazing. Look, two tricks at the same time. Oh, autograph, please. Me too. Me three. Yeah, me too. Can I have your autograph on this yo-yo, please, mister? <laughs> yes, yes. Here you go, little guys. Cool. An autograph in English. Oh, right. I got his autograph on my yo-yo. I'm glad I came. Okay, I should hurry back now. Around the same time at home. Good afternoon. We came to see Maru-chan, if that's okay. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for coming to see her. So is she doing okay? Maruko seems to be doing fairly well. I'll go get her for you. Maruko! Your friends are here. Maruko! Hey, wait. She isn't here. I wonder where she went. Is she in the bathroom? Maruko! Maruko! Huh? Today is the day that the yo-yo champions come. She wouldn't. She couldn't. Uh, uh, oh, hi, Maru-chan. <coughs> Why did you come from outside? Your mom has gone to your room to get you. Why were you outside? W why are you all at my house right now? Are you here to visit me? Yes, that's right. Anyway, look at you, Maru-chan. Why are you dressed like that? If you're okay, why weren't you at school? Don't tell me that you went to see the yo-yo champion when you're sick. No, no way! Why in the world would I go to see the yo-yo champion? Her yo-yo with a champion's autograph on it. Now Maruko has no room for excuses. 